Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and in this session we will learn how we can add a POST API request in our Postman and then we will run and check the response and we will see all the options and parameters. In the last session we have already executed a GET API request and you can just go and search for if I search for HTTP methods and here you can see different HTTP methods that you can use with APIs. So here you can see there is a GET. GET is used to read a rec uh, resource and just uh, show the details. Then we have POST. POST method submits an entity to the specified resource. So here it actually creates a resource on the server. For POST we will need a body as well. And if you are completely new to APIs and you want some basics, you can go on my website that is automationstepbystep.com and here if you go to my website you can scroll down down and you will see a API testing section here on this section you will see API web services basics and here this will take you to my playlist on API web services so here you can learn what is a web service introduction basics and you can also see what are REST web services. So I have explained in very basic step-by-step -step way all the details about web services, SOAP and REST, everything here. So if you are completely new, you can watch this one. And coming back to our Postman. So I will open my Postman. Now you can continue using Postman on a web browser. So this is my Postman on a web browser and this is on my desktop. So here, this was the last request we created. Now I will click on this to create a new tab. So I'll click here and first I will change the HTTP method to post and here I have to give the request URL. So let us go to the same website REQRES that we have gone in the last session and here I will scroll down and I will take a post request. This is for creating and if I go here you can see it creates a user and we also have to give this request body. So I will click on this link and get the complete URI and go and paste it here. And now it does not have any parameters. It does not have any authorization. Headers are here and some hidden headers which are already taken. You can check them here. Now coming to the body section, here is where we will create our body. So based on the format that you have, you can give your body. So for now, I will click on draw and I will just copy the body from here and paste it here. And because this is JSON, I will go to this text drop down and select JSON. And you can also see it has changed the color. So that means it is now taken as a JSON format. Also, if you want to increase the font, you can go to the settings. And here you will see a option to increase the font. So let me increase the font to let us say 14 or this should be fine. And you can see it has increased the font. Also, if you want, you can change the details. I will say name is Raghav and job is teacher. And then pre-request script that will run before sending the request. We don't want anything as of now. Test is the uh, tests are the script that will execute on the response after we have got the response. So again, I am leaving this blank for now and settings. We do not need to do any settings. So I'll just go back and I will click on send. If you want to send and save the response as well or download the response, you can say send and download or I'll just click on send for now. And you can see I have got the response here. In the response, I have got this response body which says name Raghav, job teacher and ID and created at timestamp. And here we can see a pretty raw format, preview format and then here we can see the status. So for a successful post request that creates something on the server, a resource on the server, we have the status code 201 which is successful creation and then this is the time taken and the size and we have option to save the response. Also if you want to search something here on the response you can search from here and then here you can see the we have JSON, XML, etc. So I'll just go back to JSON. And if you want to wrap the response, you can use this. 
and then if you want to see the cookies headers test results you can check all this here let me go back to tests and I will just add a test script here uh, let's just say I will check status code is 200 and if I run again this time you can see it has failed and if I go to the test result it says status code 200 and this was expected but actual is 201 so I will have to I'll change it here and send it again and now the status is passed so this is done and if I want I can save my request so I will click on this save button and here I will say this is request name is create user and I will save it to my demo APIs collection that I created in the last session and here I'll click on save and if you check your collection you can see here we have got our get and post request also in the history we can see all our executions so this is how you can very quickly create a post request I hope this was very useful for you I will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning